His job was to report, but he had no criminal intent. And that's, that's the, the attorney representing Stanford student Dylan Gohill. Police arrested the 19-year-old freshman on June 5th as he was covering a protest for the school newspaper, the Stanford Daily. Police say a dozen pro-Palestinian protesters barricaded themselves inside the university president's office and did extensive damage. The protesters were arrested and booked on suspicion of felony burglary, vandalism, and conspiracy. Gohill, who was reporting and wearing his press badge at the time, could also face charges. Charges haven't been filed, but Stanford is pushing to have charges filed against him, which is wrong. It's unethical. It's unconstitutional. On Thursday, the First Amendment Coalition, based in San Rafael, along with two dozen journalism groups, sent a letter to the Santa Clara District Attorney, Jeff Rosen, asking him not to prosecute the student journalist. It's clear that Mr. Gola was there at the scene to cover the news. There's no evidence that he was conspiring with, uh, with any of the protesters or that he had, was there for any reason other than to report the news. ABC7 reached out to Stanford University for comment but did not hear back. In a statement previously released, the university stated, quote, We believe that the Daily Reporter, reporting from inside the building, acted in violation of the law and university policies. The DA's office says it has not received the case yet and cannot comment. Yeah. Gohill's attorney says this case is straightforward. Dylan didn't do anything wrong. He didn't vandalize anything. So the, the protesters... They may have committed crimes. That, that's for a jury to decide. They had the intent. They wanted to barricade themselves in. This is a young reporter who got stuck in the middle of it all, trying his best to ethically do his job. But he didn't do any of those things. Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.